previous caller asked me there at the nick of time, the end of time, if uh, if I believe that moderates looked at the world the way the Republican consultants say they do. I do not. I think it's a, I think it's a trick. I I think it's been a trick the Democrats have used for decades, and I'm stunned that our side keeps falling for it. The trick is, these independents don't like criticism, they don't like raised voices, they don't like partisanship, it makes them nervous, and whenever the Republicans get critical of President Obama, these independents, they they just run right back to the Democrats and vote for it. I don't believe that for a minute. If it were the case, we wouldn't have had the 2010 midterms turn out the way they did. The independents ran away from Obama in droves. This is a, I don't know, it's a trick that the Democrats and the media have been running, and our consultants buy it. But folks, there's something else going on here as as well, and it's this. And you know it as well as I do. You just may need to be reminded of it. Somewhere in the Republican establishment, there are a lot of people who are totally I wish wish I could use a colloquial term to describe them here. They are just absorbed in immigration. They just want amnesty. It's the only thing that matters to them. They think that that's the road to riches. They think it's the road to dominance. They think it's the road to wiping out the Democrat Party. They think it's the road to whatever they think they want to happen. Amnesty is the way to get there. They're just absorbed in that. Singularly focused on it. And Jim Pathakook is running into his gloomy guru. The gloomy guru let the cat out of the bag. It's all about immigration. Jeb Bush thinks all about immigration. And plus this notion that that the independents and the moderates, they're not... Now, the reason... And I'm blue in the face saying this. Apparently, the independents think it's fine. When the president accuses Mitt Romney of killing a guy's wife, that somehow doesn't make him nervous. Uh, Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz and all of her incendiary stupidity, that doesn't make the independents nervous. Not one thing the Democrats do makes them nervous. None of their partisanship makes independents nervous. We never hear, do we? We never hear from anybody. You Democrats, you better watch your mouths. You better watch your tone. You're going to send these independents running right to the Republicans. Somehow we never hear that, do we? We only hear it's the Republicans have to clam up. It's the Republicans have to shut up. It's the Republicans have to put shackles on themselves. Otherwise, the independents and moderates are going to run right back to the Democrats. I, myself, never bought it. I think it's a trick. Uh, but the Republican consultancy as a community or as a group buys it. And that's what they tell all their candidates that hire them. And that's how we get. How else do you think we're going to get? Oh, he's a nice guy, just incompetent, as a convention theme. How do you even think of somebody as a nice guy who runs an ad claiming that you killed a guy's wife? How do you even think of somebody as a nice guy? Bill Rush, he really doesn't think he's a nice guy. He thinks that's what he has to say. Right. Why does he, have, why does he think he has to say that? Because these consultants or whoever have been telling us for years and years that... And now, look, Republicans have to moderate their tone because of the hurricane. Republic, you think if this hurricane hits Texas, the drive-bys are going to spend a day covering it? I guarantee you they're not. If this hurricane misses New Orleans, they're not going to spend much time talking about it. New Orleans is the key. Maybe if they can show uh, flooding or ramshackle destruction, places that you would think Democrats live, then maybe they'll spend some time on it. But New Orleans is the key for them, because that's Katrina, because everything is politicized. But what, what evidence do we have that Obama's a nice guy anyway? Where does that, where does that come from? Well, I know where I know where it comes. It comes from this idea that we can't be critical of him. And of course, there's the racial factor too, that the Republican consultants hamstring themselves. Well, we can't be critical of him anyway because he's black. That we just can't do that. And then they're going to call us racists and so forth and so on. So we allow ourselves to be shackled 
we do it to ourselves by believing this. But to answer the woman's question, no, I don't think independents are that fickle. Now, moderates are a different group. Moderates are just liberals that don't have the guts to say so. Independents are not the same bunch of people. Steve in Memphis, I'm glad you waited. You're next on the EIB Network. Hello. Ross, it's truly a great honor, and thank you for being a voice for the heart and soul of America. Thank you, sir, really very much. Ross, I'll tell you, I drive a truck coast to coast, and it's not Hurricane Isaac that we're all worried about. It's Hurricane Obama. I've got a beach house in Ocean City. I'm from Ocean City, Maryland. You live on the beach. We've both been through some hurricanes. The hurricane blows over. We clean, clean some things up, straighten up. Life back to usual. After Hurricane Obama, it's not just clean it up. Life goes on as usual. It's the, the, Hurricane Obama. If you put Hurricane Obama up to a radar plot for Hurricane Isaac, Hurricane Obama dwarfs it ten times full. The storm surge alone is just going to wipe us out. It's just uh, something we're all fearful well, of. I mean, see, to you and I, we're on the same page about that. I think it's a good analogy, too. Hurricane Obama, you don't rebuild from it. Uh, but, see, here, here's here's the, the thing, about, thing about that is um, the Republican leadership, I'm convinced, especially reading the gloomy guru from our old buddy Jim Pethokoukos, who talked to the gloomy guru in Tampa. I think the Republican establishment does not see this election the way you and I do. This is not, as far as they're concerned, a defining moment for the country. And Obama's presidency is not a defining moment for the future of the country. He's just the latest Democrat to be elected. This is just another election cycle. And... Usually, incumbents win. It's very difficult to unseat incumbents. You know, I have to laugh these people, too. These these establishment types. I'm, and I'm, I'm not... This comment's not aimed at Romney. You remember all during the primaries, the establishment types told us the reason. You remember, Mr. Sturdy, let's see if your political memory is up to snuff today. What was the reason the establishment told us? That Romney was the only real chance we had. Is the, the only guy who could get elected. Forget how. They told us Romney's the only guy. Newt can't get elected. By the way, the Republican establishment had no problems telling us what a mean SOB Newt is. And there was none of this, well, you know, Santorum's a nice guy. He's just incompetent. I mean, Romney clearly has the ability or his super PAC, they clearly have the ability to run out and be critical of their opponents. But but Mitt is saying, he said it to Politico, and others are, no, it's not who I am. I am who I am, and I don't do that. I'm not, if people are looking for me, go out, roll up the sleeves, start beating people up, that's not who I am. Tell Newt that. <laughs> tell tell Santorum that. Tell, tell Rick uh, Perry that. But these establishment guys, they told us Mitt's, Romney's the only guy that can win. But now the establishment guys, I am convinced, are positioning themselves for 2016. That's what I think is all about. When I hear them say, eh, Ohio, eh, I think we can win. All. We're leading in Ohio right now. The Washington Post ABC poll is out. And it's got, it's got Romney up by a point. But it's the first time Romney's been up in that poll. On Good Morning America, they didn't even give the numbers of this poll for the first hour of their show. They're trying to de-emphasize it. The incumbent president is at 46. I don't care where Romney is. An incumbent presidency under 50 in any poll is a bad sign, and it's a warning. And had the gloomy guru, whoever he is, probably an Ohio consultant, is running around telling people, yeah, no chance in Pennsylvania, no chance in Ohio, that's lost. Yeah, we're going to win uh, North Carolina, Virginia, maybe. I think these guys have already figured we're going to lose, and, and they're positioning themselves for 2016. Because this is, this is not a defining moment. This is just the next election in the cycle. And they're hell-bent on immigration, these establishment guys, whoever they are, they're hell-bent on it. They have a singular focus on that that arouses 
my curiosity. I got to take a brief timeout, an obscene profit timeout, we call them, and we coming back with much more. Don't go away, folks. Rush, Rush 